many fine sponsors. in the audience. If you want a shower cap for your glass, she'll make you one. <laughs> it saved a little, Anne. No, no, it did, darling. You know what it normally does, don't you? <laughs> We're getting a bit short. Okay, here, how are you? All right? Fine. Um, uh, shall we go to Jamaica, sort of quickly? And have a look at two places, just outside Montego Bay, and also uh, at Ocho Rios. It's rather nice, actually. Let's have a look. Look at that. Not very good swimming right there, but they have a swimming pool. This is at the Trident Villas at Ocho Rios. And Trina and I were there just the, <laughs> the day that the swimming pool got broken. And uh, that shows you the power of that, uh, of that sea when it comes in. Now this we switched to Sign, a little village outside Montego Bay, about eight miles out. And one, a truly splendid example of the big Aki tree. And there's the Aki. It's, it's a, it's a, a reddish plum-like creature which grows on the trees and must drop off the tree before you take it up and break it open, or it normally breaks itself open, and make it into a thing rather like scrambled egg, which you have for breakfast in the morning. Now, it's not unpleasant in any way, shape, or form. It's absolutely delicious. This is at Trident Villas, and you have your own villa right down by the side of that sea crashing in against the coral there. Now we're back in sign. You can tell by the brognatia in the background. There's those white trumpet things. Now, that's my wife. Uh, <laughs> Um, thank you, darling. Trina's been feeding me ever since we were married. <laughs> it, that was the first time I'd ever eaten it. And I, I was quite amazed, you know. It was a different sort of experience. And now I was sort of examining Trina while she ate it. But uh, that, that's a hen. What, what, what do they call that? It's a pea hen. That's right, it's a pea hen. There, there's a peacock and a pea hen. I didn't know that. I thought it was a female peacock. And that, just like Donnie. Um, now, th th this, this, is, um, this is the Aki when it's broken open. And that's exactly what it looks like when it's broken open. I thought it was a fascinating, you know. I've got one anyway to show you. But, but I was told, well, forgive me if I just take my jacket off to start with, because it's, I, need, I need a bit of exercise here, because it's, a, it's one of those very sort of fast and furious stories. Two blokes, um, you know, because there's a lot of golf courses in Jamaica along the coastline there, and two chaps um, uh, had, well, one chap really, basically, to start with, had a, had a heart attack, and he, he played a lot of golf. You know, he got furious every time he missed a putt. Uh, Arnold, Arnold, what was his name? Oh, it doesn't matter. Um, so, so well, anyway, now, this is an old bloke, you see. So, so, anyway, he went to the doctor, and the doctor sort of said, oh, you're a very sick man, like this, and uh, better take you off golf for a while. Well, he was off golf for about three or four months. And, you know, that's, that's rotten stuff for a golfer, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You, you hadn't even seen the grass, have you, for about four months? Um, works hard. And um, so, so, anyway, um, he says to the doctor, Doc, can I... Uh, <coughs> Do you think it's possible? As he was like, that's not. Do you think it's possible that I could start to, uh, to do my uh, golf again? Is that a fascinating voice? How do you that before? <laughs> and the doctor said, nah, 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 nah. Which, like most doctors say. <laughs> so he said, I beg your pardon. And the doctor said, eh, um, you can, but don't use your balls. <laughs> and the, um, and the, uh, the, the golf said, I beg your, beg your pardon, beg your pardon. He said, uh, you can uh, play golf, but don't use any golf balls. The problem with you is that you get too upset about it. Uh, 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 play, so play without them. Uh, uh. Well, it sounds pretty strange to me, but all right. So he goes out on the golf course the next day, the full bank comes like this, you see. And he, uh, he sticks a tee down into the ground and he takes his imaginary ball and balances it on the top. Feels quite good about this, you know, and takes his iron like this, un 
Uh, can you tell me? Is this all right? <laughs> well, it's not bad. I know it's not good, but... Um, anyway, it goes bang like this, and off it goes. Like this. He's absolutely thrilled. He doesn't get quite the same sort of satisfaction, because he always likes to play, you know. It's a problem with him. And well, he's, he's, go he's gone about three holes, and he sees this other bloke who is balancing an imaginary ball on <laughs> like this. And do he thinks, oh, gosh, that looks rough, doesn't it? So he goes over and says, excuse me, but, um... <coughs> Um, what are you doing? He says, well, matter of fact, I'm playing golf. I said, uh, have you by any chance had a heart attack recently? Yes, I have. How did you know that? Is your doctor uh, Mr. Smith? He says, yes, Mr. Is your not Dr. Smith? Yes, yes, I, yes, it's Dr. Smith. <coughs> that was a problem with him, you see. Uh, he says, uh, well, oh, then I think I know what's happening. I've been doing this because he told you not to. He says, oh, I told you to do it without, you know, understand. Right, yes, yeah. yes, of course, yes, of course. Aye, that's right. So good. Oh, I must tuck myself in. I'm coming out. Right, fine. Um, pardon? Oh, no, I'm enjoying myself. Um, and uh, so, so anyway, they, they, they decide to team up and play against each other for a dollar a hole, you see? And, uh, and through trickery and chicanery and just downright deceit, they manage to get to the 17th hole, and they, they're teeing off on the 18th, and they're absolutely even. And uh, so one, so I tell you what, let's uh, liven this one up, shall we? Let's have fifty dollars on the on the last hole. Who gets in first? Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> All right, that'd be rather fun. Yeah. Okay. So I blast off, eh? Right. They said yes. Boom. Two hundred and fifty yards right down the middle of the fairway. Says, wasn't that a wonderful shot, wasn't it? Hey, I'm great sportsman, aren't I? This camera. Oh, yes, thank you very much. I'm great sportsman. Now you have a go. Well, I must admit, you're an extremely good shot. <laughs> Here I go. Boom, like that. Off it goes. Right down. Within about two inches, they declare it. So between two inches of each other. So this one, well, says, OK, it's my shot. Like this. And he takes a number nine. Uh, and lots of sort of sort of caper like this. And balances back on his back foot. Look at that stance there. That, that's all right, isn't it? <laughs> eh? Foot slightly up, because he's near a bunker. <laughs> um, um, <laughs> If you've just tuned in, it's perfectly all right. This is, um, um, so, so here he is like this, and he takes his shot, boom, like this. Up goes the ball like this. There it is. Look, what? Look, right, he's there. <laughs> it's down. It's down. It's right down. Now you owe me 50 bucks. He turns the other back. And the other says, no, no, you don't. Hey, you use my ball. <laughs> Hello. This is an egg comes from chickens and um, is frequently laid early in the morning <laughs> to the chagrin and dismay of those people who own chickens. Um, this you place into boiling water and you bring it to the boil and you let it get on with it. Now, here, th this is this is a Siamese onion. Uh, this, um, so you do need, actually, four ounces, uh, seven ounces, and, uh, and a two-ounce one. Uh, so we'll just take this side of that one and just slice it down. I must say that it's always much quicker and much easier and much safer to slice, mm, to slice an onion when it is standing up. Um, it should stand up on a flat surface. For example, that is a fairly flat surface. So you can slice it like that. Now, you turn it then onto that surface, and then again onto that surface, and you can keep on chopping it through, you see, and it's all right, it works quite well. Now this, you just simply take this amount of seven ounces of onion and pop that in here. Now that's some, um, that's a uh, clarified butter. Sorry. Um, and... <laughs> And you just place that, um, that down in there and just let it gently hiss, just a gentle hiss. Now, in this one here, I've got some flaked codfish. Now, this comes, and this, this codfish, and I must ask you to signify that this is true. The codfish comes from Newfoundland and goes to Jamaica, where it is the just enormously successful product. So successful that it's rationed. And if you've got a good account at your local store, you can get a pound slipped to you under the counter. I mean, it's literally out there. And it's blech. It's, it's too salty by far. This has been soaking in milk overnight. And I've taken the bones out of it, and um, it's got to be poached in milk. So you, you soak it in milk overnight to cut down the, uh, you know, the, the extrovert saltiness of it. And now you poach it in milk as well, put the lid on and turn it down to a low heat. And let that poach for ten minutes. Now, um, what you do is you start on this small onion here. Well, my... <laughs> it's such a poor, wretched little thing. Now, this is one way of chopping fairly quickly an onion. If you chop it down like that first of all, and then having cut it into fairly thin slices, 
you have to watch the little ones. <laughs> now you take this and you place this, this very finely chopped, well, moderately finely chopped onion into the bottom of that pan there and add that to that. Now that's fine. I mean, just scrape that in. Ah, nothing wasted. And um, now, pardon? Uh, not quite. Um, uh, nearly. Now you bang that, you know, the old Italian karate. And um, you just, you just chop it backwards and forwards there until it's finely chopped up. Don't put it in in great big lumps. This is garlic. One huge clove of garlic. Just as... <laughs> and it's better to have a lot of garlic first thing in the morning than last thing at night. Um, two teaspoonfuls of curry powder, and it's Madras curry powder, and two teaspoonfuls of flour, and you can stir that together, and you've got a sort of curry-flavoured roux. A chew. Right. So we just let that um, belt off as a roux. That egg is still boiling nicely. That's not doing very much. Um, and... <laughs> Turn that handle around that way. Next time, from Martha's Kitchen, Martha's recipe for a Halloween treat, peanut brittle. And it isn't hard to make. Plus bewitching tips for throwing a most haunting Halloween party. <laughs> from Martha's Kitchen, tonight at 6.30 Eastern. You might have heard a lot about Zenical. There's a unique weapon in the Battle of the Bulge. It's called Zenical. Our top story, Zenical. Is it everything you've hoped for? Want to know the facts? Zenical is a prescription fat blocker, not an appetite suppressant, which means it blocks about one-third of the fat in the food you eat from ever being digested. No, you can't eat whatever you want, and you may never look like a supermodel, but with Zenical and a reduced-calorie diet, you can lose weight. And that's a fact. So if you're at least 30 pounds overweight, depending on height, ask your doctor for more information. Since Zenical blocks about one-third of the fat in the food you eat, you may experience gas with oily discharge, increased bowel movements, an urgent need to have them, and an inability to control them, particularly after meals containing more fat than recommended. Zenical shouldn't... Now you just crush, crush up your cod um, in the bottom of the pan and you fry that in there as well. Now, in with that, you put your ackee. Now, you can buy ackee in a can. And this is it. Soft, melting moments of, of Jamaican ackee. And they really are very good indeed. It's a smashing thing. I, I, a photographer came up a little while ago from New York. And um, he... Uh, he heard that I had Aki. <laughs> Sounds like something you need Clearasil for, doesn't it? Um, and um, and, and uh, he came all the way from New York for a little. Um, in, incredible. Um, okay, so that's just stirred around there, and that's all there is to it. You put a little um, freshly ground, actually a lot of freshly ground. Actually, I think I've run out. <laughs> Of, um, of pepper, white pepper, sorry, love. Um, white pepper, don't dangle your tie if you're a chap um, over a hot element. Um, and <laughs> so I'm in my element. Where are we? <laughs> um, right, now, where are we going from here? Um, you just take some more ackee here and you take three tablespoons full. Three tablespoons full of, of mango chutters, and it's three tablespoons full, not three teaspoonful, because I know, because I looked it up. Uh, it's my recipe, so I should know, roughly. And uh, so that's stirred around there. Nothing's happening at all in there. It's probably got a special cut-off principle. Hello, Mr. So-and-so. All right, so this is going beautifully here. Now, this curry sauce is sort of stirred up to a point of perfection. And so, <laughs> so then you put this in. That's just your ordinary mixture. Now you take hold here of a small, <coughs> and a, a small saucepan. And you just, hey, eh? that's a sieve, not a saucepan, of course. Um, and you sieve that mixture into there. Now that, of course, as you well know, is, um, is a curry sauce. And now they've just got a bit of onion dross there. And uh, this is going awfully well, I think. Um, just shake that too. Is this going all right as far as you're concerned, sir? Oh, good. Um, 
Just give us a yell if I'm doing something I shouldn't be. Hey! <laughs> it's getting rough. Don't I, don't I have to move down from up there soon? Um, <laughs> by this time they might have done. Right, okay, so now you've got your egg, and that's a hard-boiled egg, and look what I've done to it. I've b b belted the, the uh, uh, all off the outside, and then you can just slide the egg right out. You see, isn't that fantastic when you do it with cold water like that? I knew you'd be thrilled. <laughs> um, I want this up very high. Everything else is cooking except the thing I want to cook, which is this thing. Oh, do forget my time. Uh, and now you just place your egg in the middle of that, and it's a hard-boiled egg, as you can see now, and you just chop backwards and forwards. It's a very useful thing. This, just very delicately hopping around like Nuri over in the middle of your Aki. Uh, and um, just uh, bring that out and boil. Now, where are we? Um, you take out... <laughs> The element is still radiant. No wonder they give those things to brides. This... <laughs> this, uh, You then... Uh, uh, thank you. Deserved, but late. Uh, the... So you get out two scampi dishes for no apparent reason, and then you get another two out. Ooh. Rather full in the face this evening. <laughs> um, and there you are. Now what do you do? Well, I'll show you. You, um, you get out your hot toast here. Well, that's just fantastic. Um, It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. It'll all work. I'm cutting down. I'm dieting, so I don't want any. I suppose you've noticed, haven't you? Um, right, so you just put a little pat of butter to stop it from sodding up the, um, uh, soddening up the, um, the bread, okay? Now, that's doing absolutely fantastically. This is ready. Oh, truth. It's so at, at odds with the beautiful, wonderful, sophisticated intelligent way of living in Jamaica. And uh, this I'm running all over the place and it's ridiculous. You shouldn't live like this. Nobody should live like this. <laughs> you might be able to, but I can't. Here you go. So you put uh, tomatoes on the side and now you get hold of this stuff. This is the curry one. And you just drop that over the top and you can mill black pepper over the top if you want some more. And this is mine because it hasn't got any toast. <laughs> nice. Ugh. Okay, see you through then, just a second. Coming up next on Food Network, it's Michael's Place, followed by the always spicy Too Hot Tamales. Then, another informative and entertaining Cooking Live Primetime with Sarah Moulton. Food Network, so full of flavor. Sundown Herbals presents its remarkable Twist and Learn label. This unique label gives you so much information, it can help take the mystery out of taking herbs. Sundown's new Twist and Learn label. Where to turn for help. Discover paradise at petopia.com. The internet pet paradise. Right now, delivery is free on most pet supplies at Petopia.com. It used to be, in order to save money, you had to wait for a sale. Not anymore. Now you can go to netmarket.com. 800,000 items, 1,400 brands, all at great prices, 365 days a year. Want to refinance your home? Think you can't get a great rate? You can. Get this great rate at rockloans.com now. Or call 1-800-631-ROCK. 
your rate will be locked in for three years, and you can save hundreds of dollars a month. We've loaned billions of dollars to hundreds of thousands of homeowners like you. Rockloans.com, America's online mortgage lender. Or call us at 1-800-631-ROCK today. Is getting a mortgage supposed to be this easy? Waiting to buy a new home or to refinance? Waiting for what? A great mortgage rate? How's this? Visit rockloans.com now or call 1-800-631-ROCK. We've loaned billions of dollars to hundreds of thousands of homeowners like you. We'll help you buy a new home or refinance so you put hundreds of dollars a month back in your pocket. Rockloans.com, America's online mortgage lender. Or call us at 1-800-631-ROCK today. Is getting a mortgage supposed to be this easy? Let's kick it up or not. <laughs> Not my day. Um, those are the two. A little the curried one on the side, um, and uh, and a, a piece of well, crisp toast um, there. And now let's have just a little nosh, just of the curried one. See that fruit? It mustn't be overcooked. Wonderful flavor. Now, this is the one with the Aki salt. That, rightly, I think, is the best and most magnificent dish in all the islands of the Caribbean. It really is. It's a number one dish that there is. And if you want to try it, just to see what it's like, you can do it. And it is available in the canned form. Go to the very best possible greengrocer there is in your area and ask him for Aki. A C K E E. <laughs> and write to me and let me know how you get on, all right? <laughs> Until next time we're together, may God bless you. Bye. Um, you're going for the carried one first.